What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be going over a level 57 sniper build for Amara. The sniper build is by far one of my favorite builds for Amara in the game. And as we all know, my previous build was based on all around the weapon invitation, but that is stuck at level 53 right now. And I figured that there needed to be a new main weapon. Good thing with this DLC, some very good snipers came with it. And plus on top of that, some other snipers have got buffed in the past. So overall, this build is insanely good now, if not better than the wedding invitation was. So with all that being said, let's get right into it. So starting off, we're going to be using the Skull Masher as our main weapon. Now, I know some people do like the Unseen Threat uh, sniper rifle a lot, but personally, I think the Skull Masher is better on Amara simply because of all her accuracy perks she can get. Not only does accuracy tighten your pellet spread, it's also obviously making your guns hit shots more. So with this, it's basically making the shotgun spread of the Skull Masher into a normal one shot. So basically, you're shooting a sniper rifle that is just shooting five bullets in a straight line with one shot it is doing an insane amount of damage and it's actually crazy now this gun can also be used as a shotgun basically since it does shoot five pellets out and you can just hip fire the hip fire accuracy is really good and it can just shred things and as you see i do have an anoint on it the anoint is not needed but the anoint does help out a little bit in like in boss fights but trust me guys it is not needed whatsoever this thing puts out an insane amount of damage as it is now, as I was talking about the Unseen Threat, I'm going to include one with uh, same thing, ASC Annoying with 100% more damage. This is very good. The way it works, you basically shoot and it's going to ricochet three different rockets out of people. Sometimes these rockets can cluster up, I guess, especially on things like Grave Ward and just do an insane amount of damage. Like, but it doesn't happen all the time. So personally, in my opinion, I like the Skull Masher better for that sake. But... The unseen threat is very good and do not sleep on it like it is very very good but if it was me i would definitely choose the skull master for amara next i have a crack of toe right here with the face laminoid this is simply just to kill grave ward in seconds uh this is just your farming weapon specifically for grave ward and it is insanely good the next obviously this is not a sniper rifle but I have a custom with an ASC anoint where my fire rate is increased for 11% and I get 26% more reload speed. This is very good for Wotan taking the shields out or even the Valkyrie squad. This is the only reason I'm using it, just to simply take out shields out really quick and then let my sniper do all the damage. And next, I have a level 57 transformer with an accidentally get 50% bonus cryo damage. Also, I have four other shields right here with all the other ASC anoints on them can't go wrong with that it's for any scenario i'm including them then i have a it's piss grenade right here with 50 percent bonus corrosive damage and then four extra grenades with all the asc anoints on it for more the grenades don't really matter the shield doesn't really matter either but i just like to use the transformer because it's super tanky and i just i just like that like it's it's very it's a very good shield then obviously i'm using chronic corrosive because this is mainly you know if you want to do the takedown but if you want to switch it up i have the other four for each next i have a phase zerker right here with 31 percent actual cooldown rate 45 percent jacobs weapon critical damage and 50 percent volatile fire rate the jacobs critical hit damage obviously very good i'm still rocking this it's level 50 i haven't gotten a better one yet so this one is still putting in work then next i have a snowdrift auto idle this is level 57 i'm getting 20% pistol damage, 25% axial quarter rate, 50% magazine size. The pistol damage doesn't matter. The magazine size is very helpful. And that is specifically because of the Skull Masher. We're going to be trying to get the Skull Masher to have a lot of magazine size so we can spam it. So and the 25% axial quarter rate obviously is very good to keep getting our phase grass back. So with auto idle, this is also restoring 20% of your max health per kill since it's level 57. And we're getting a lot of slot speed. Now, talking about the Skull Masher with the magazine size, obviously we're getting this with plus 50%, and the Transformer, also when we're taking damage, is going to be putting bullets back into the Skull Masher. This is going to be up to 6 instead of 4, and with that, you can straight up spray it and just kill things. And obviously with that 6, if you're taking damage by the Transformer, you're also getting your bullets back into the magazine, and you can shoot sometimes up to like 10 shots. Now, all the stuff I'm including in this build is an execute. This is obviously just very good for applying debuffs. Shoot the magazine, it's, get it to empty, reload it, and now you have 50% debuff on whatever. Really good against things like big bosses. Just easily apply debuff if you need it. Then I have a sellout right here. 
as always the proc elemental projector which is level 57 so we're getting 103 percent damage boost and with this we're also getting 50 percent more magazine size so we can keep that six shots in the skull masher so that's the gear for this build i'm going to go into the skill tree now i'm going to talk mainly on the main skill points that we need to be invested to i'll talk about everything later but for the main ones you're going to want to be taking infusion this is simply to make all your kinetic weapons do whatever element so since we're getting invested in all the skill trees for takedown we can use corrosive for general play we can use soul fire and then for if we ever need shock we can use shock now another main skill we need to have is do harm do harm is insanely good especially for something like ties the bind which is what we're using this is going to buff your chain damage and we're going to have a ton of do harm stacks because of the phase zerker we're basically going to be able to phase grasp an enemy and everything around it is just going to die in one shot now to help that we're also going to be using laid bear laid bear is going to be buffing that chain damage too so anything is chain is taking 25 percent more damage plus whatever do harm stacks we have now another thing is with this whole combo we're going to be running soul sap instead of stillness of mind or allure those two augments actually make your damage go down so it's going to reduce the damage of the chain now i will say you're already doing the same amount of damage so if you want stillness of mind or lure for you know crowd control or survivability whatever you can use that but if you want to go full on damage like definitely go soul sap and soul sap is also going to heal you for whatever damage you do to the chain targets they're going to come back and heal you so this is very good for your survivability so between that, do harm and lay bare, you're going to be doing millions upon millions of damage to chain targets. It's actually crazy. Now talking about the Skull Masher, we're going to be taking Transcend and Steady Hands. This is buffing our accuracy by 31% right here. And then Transcend is buffing our accuracy by 38% after you pop an accuracy skill. So this is like this is going to tighten our pellet spread. And basically we're just going to be shooting a single shot of like five bullets. Like it's really, really good. And one thing I forgot to mention is we're also taking Awakening to buff what do harm does so we're getting even more damage with that the, for the final thing i want to go over is personal space this is basically just giving us more damage close to our two enemy skull master is basically a shotgun you can use it up close so we're taking that and then also indiscriminate to make our bullet ricochet so on things like the valkyrie squad when they're coming down you can just start spamming the valkyrie squad your students are shooting five bullets everything's gonna ricochet and pretty much everything's gonna die it's really really good and then i'm putting one point remnant to basically spawn a overkill orb essentially and it's going to go out and just get a free kill for you pretty much because you're already doing the same amount of damage and one thing i will say before i get into every single skill the survivability of this build is based on killing things you have no health regeneration and the only way you can heal is by killing things simply this is a glass cannon build but since it is a sniper build you can you can play far back and you can kill things very easily so soul sap is healing us when we kill linked targets we have three points of root to rise to give us more max health and then our auto idol is obviously healing us 20 percent max health every time we kill an enemy so that is the only way we're healing right now is simply through killing stuff I, just be aware of that now it is not that big of a deal even on mayhem 4 and in the takedown because you can like i said just kill everything at a distance and it's crazy you could be up close and still kill things and you just out heal the damage taken and the transformer obviously is a super tanky shield so this is in return going to be helping you a lot too so it just negates shock damage and it has a super high capacity so with the main part of the build being over with now i'm just going to go over every little skill that i did not go over to begin with so additional skills are taken are fast hands to get more reload speed weapons without speed most with speed this is just a generally very good skill for Mar to have it just makes playing the game a lot more easier and a lot more fun next i'm putting five points in alacrity to get two percent reload speed per rush stack and two point nine percent after i use an action skill so this is basically a allowing us to reload the skull master insanely quick so with alacrity since we're having six shots the skull master and you know potentially more with the transformer we're going to spray the bullets and then we have a lot of alacrity stacks so we're reloading super quick to shoot six more bullets it's very very good and i would definitely say alacrity is needed for this build we're also putting five points of relics to get 25 percent more cooldown rate which is very good one point ascendant to buff our soul sap to get more healing and then finally for the skill tree we're putting one point avatar to get 10 more rush stacks and we can pop our so twice for cooldown the 10 rush stacks is going to help out things with do harm and alacrity 
so we're getting insane damage and insane amount of reload speed so if this is elements we are going to be putting five points in tempest as well to get 30 percent elemental damage 20 percent more shock damage this is very good because obviously we're going to be using elements as a mara so this is just giving us more damage now i do have one point in anima just to get down to the bottom of the good tree anima is not needed at all for this build we're not relying on status effect damage but to get down to the bottom you had to put one point somewhere now i'm putting one point in dread to get 15 percent more gun damage after you phase grasp a target and also our guns will be instantly loaded now this is another very good skill to have with the skull master obviously the skull master can just eat through ammo and since it's not the wedding invitation it doesn't regenerate ammo so this basically when you kill an enemy it's phase grass it's going to reload your gun and it reloads it from thin air so literally when you kill the target you get your ammo back and it's very very good for conserving ammo ammo is not the biggest thing with this build but if you're just spamming and not hitting your targets ammo is definitely going to be a problem but if you're taking your time being accurate spamming on bigger people ammo is not going to be a problem but this skill does help out now next i'm putting one point deep well this is basically just a skill i had left over so i just put it in here to buff the krakatoa so when we're fighting grave ward we can just kill him even easier it's not really needed but it, i have it there it's nothing really else you can put it in so that is it for all the just extra skills we have they're basically just helping you out a little bit not as much as the main skills that we went over other than maybe alacrity alacrity is helping you out a bunch i should have mentioned that in the main skill but just know alacrity is actually insane for this build so overall this build is very very fun it makes level 57 you know man four just a breeze it is beyond easy and if you like playing sniper builds this is definitely gonna work for you now even with the wedding invitation stuck at level 53 you can still use it with this build but personally i like to use updated stuff so the skull masher is by far one of my favorite weapons in the game now it is very very fun and very very effective that is gonna do it for the build guys as always the build is located in my discord channel if you would like to download it i want to thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for all the recent support on the channel it has been absolutely crazy you guys have been killing it and i seriously cannot thank you guys enough but as always remember if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful in any way be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel it really helps me out and i truly appreciate it but yeah it's gonna do it for the video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace